Hi everyone, it's Helen here and thank you for joining me on today's tutorial. So I have a brand new mini album die set. Now you may have heard hints last year in some of my videos that I will be overhauling um, all of my mini album collection. So here is the first one. Now you might think, oh you've seen these before because we have kept the size is exactly the same. So this new die set is going to work with um, your additions. So the first release is the large album die set here. And basically we have taken the landscape mini album here and we have condensed it down. So to, in order to make these two albums, you would need this set you would also need the large ultimate binding and also the small binding. So the small binding would make this one and the large binding would make that one. So originally this die set here was designed as a landscape, but you can use it with the large to make portrait. So again, we have simplified everything down and we have um, added the spine sets in there so you and also you've got the uh, the dash lines there so you can trim that down to either make the landscape or the portrait so in today's video i'm going to be showing you how to make this version here and at the end i'll be showing you how to trim down the binding to make the smaller one there filming okay so let's have a quick look inside these albums we're going to be making this one today so as with the other album um, it's got all of the pocket pages in here. Now this tab here is from another set. Everything is going to be listed below and there'll be further videos on all of these little um, bits and bobs inside this album as well. So this is my brand new paper pad. I've been using that to decorate. So again, it's just so lovely. And again, with these um, this new die set, you can choose the orientation as well for where you're gonna have your pocket. So you can have a side pocket instead of having the top loading pocket as well. So um, I have so much information to share with you today. So here is the landscape one as well. So we have the belly band. We have the pocket here with the thumb tab. That is not in this one here so we have updated it we've condensed it down and again here I've got the top loading pages so you can get loads of photographs in this one so this album here is going to be suited more for like landscape photographs if you love your landscape photographs in four by six um, you'll have the six inches across here and the four there you could just about squeeze on photographs six inches high if you wanted to add a few uh, six inch six by fours not the four by sixes so um, basically in portraits so this one is going to be more suited for the landscape photographs and if you tend to take your photographs in portrait style so six by fours you are going to be more suited to this style but again in this one die set you will get um, the choice to make either so that's really good okay so just a quick look here these are some of the other die sets coming up this is my prototype so it's made on flimsy photo paper but using stronger um, photo paper then it's just going to work a lot better and here is the waterfall as well so this collection is called moving pages as you can see it's all kinetic and it's a lot of fun so let's jump straight now into the tutorial okay so we're going to be starting off with the spine so let's have a quick look at the die set here i've got them i've got everything on uh, magnetic sheets here nice and easy okay so these are the two spine sets here and we, we're using the full length of this one because we're going to be adding this um in this this orientation so the pages will be going on to that way so you also get the belly band in here some corners and here is the main page die and the pocket die and the mats as well and a frame okay so you need to die cut out one of these and three of those and I've gone ahead and I've done that already it's done the score lines for you as well so just fold those over and you are going to have a better result if you also use a bone folder to do your creasing as well
Okay, so that's all of that done. Just gonna grab my glue now. I'm all layered up today because it's a sunny but frosty morning in the southeast of England today. So I've already been out in the weather. Right, so we're gonna start off with this one first. The concept is exactly the same. Nothing has changed. It's just gonna be a lot easier to make lots of different types of album from one die set. Okay, so the first one is going to go in the middle. You can eyeball it or you, you can get your ruler out and measure it if you want. I didn't want to add any extra notches to this because they would be visible if you just decided to just have two of these fins in there. So you can you can choose you know your, your gaps in between these ones. So if you wanted to, you can just have it like this. If you add, plan on adding loads of bulky things, oh, I just broke that. If you wanted to add loads of bulky things to your pages, you would be good with literally just one of these fins in there. Okay, so I'm just gonna add the other two and I'm gonna make sure that there's equal space either side And all of these, the, ex, the extra notches here, the, da the dash lines, they're all going to be um, hidden by the pages once it's in. So this is where you need to make sure that everything is straight. Because if these go in wonky, you're going to have wonky pages. So we don't really want to have wonky pages, do we? So that looks all straight to me. Give that a good press. And then we're going to do the last one. I do find that adding adhesive and glues to craft cardstock, which is what I'm using, it does take that little bit of extra time to dry. I think it's because it's quite absorbent because it's usually mostly made from like, it can be made from recycled things. The, the fibers are definitely not as compacted together um, as with other cardstocks, so there is that. So I'm just making sure that is straight. I'm gonna press that down, and there we have it. Looks a bit funny right now because I'm trying to let the glue dry, and I'm just gonna leave that as it is. Put that aside. We can manipulate and play with the um, the spine fins um, after the glue's dry. Okay, this is Cosmic Shimmer in this tiny little bottle. I will link these down below as well. They're really handy. Okay, so moving on now, I'm gonna do another spine here. This is for the album in landscape. As you can see, we need to trim these spines down and we put the markings on there. Okay, so there was a little bit of a manufacturing error on here. Um, I will grab my pencil so you can see. I just wanted to be transparent about that. Um, it's not too bad. You can still make what you want to make with this die set. Um, it's up to you whether you want to wait for this one or the reorder. I don't know when the reorder is going to be in. Um, it's going to be sometime this year though. Um, I'm just going to pencil out just so you can see on the video where these dash lines are now they've come out a little bit too high but you, you can definitely still make your album from this okay so this is this is where the dash lines are at the moment they're a bit high however if oh, I did I put that in the wrong place hang on a second it's because it's on the craft cards like I can't see I should have chosen a different colored cardstock just looking for my rubber I did, I put that in the wrong place. Okay, so here we here is what it should look like. This line here is where we're going to well we where we should cut. However, at the bottom is where the measurement should be so it's super easy just to get around that so we're just going to cut 
where the bottom dashes meet. Again, if you want to add your pencil line to make it easy, you can do. And then all we have to do after that is grab some scissors. I'm just going to trim that down. Again, if you want to wait for the restock, you can do. There we go. There is our spine. So all you have to do now is do the same for the smaller fins. So the smaller, the smaller spine pieces. Add it together, just like we've done with this one, and you will have a smaller piece. Now, if you already have some things in my collection, you can just go for this one here. If you have this, just use this one, and that will fit perfectly. Okay, so moving on now to your page choices, because I did mention you can have orientation choices for your pockets, whether they're top loading or side loading. So we're gonna work, I'm gonna show you the landscape options first. So for this one. Okay, so if you wanted to have a pocket opening on the short end here when it's in the landscape, all you have to do is chop off these two side tabs here, glue together, so, top and tail them just like that get rid of these and then you will have the opening here to add to your spine and you will have a pocket opening on this side here so it'll be glued together by these long tabs there okay so now for the portrait orientation it's basically just the same um, technique as in the landscape one you would lose some of the uh, the tabs in ever whichever orientation so for a top pocket just trim off both of these I have a piece here add that to the bottom and turn that around actually you'll have this side here to add to your long fins your long spine you have the pocket at the top if you want to have a long pocket on your page on the side all you have to do is trim off these long pieces here turn this over just like that add that on there we'll pretend these are chopped off this is what is going to be added onto your long spine on this side let's pretend that's glued together I'm only showing you dry runs today and then you'll have a pocket here so I'm thinking I'm going to add some images with the ends chopped off and things like that just so that you can see that so I will be putting that together it's a lot easier if you have the diagrams to look at I know you find that handy so I'm going to do that okay so let's pop some pages together so I'm going to be using this pa this panel here and this panel here so again this is going to go together exactly the same as all of my other previous albums exactly the same uh, construction just going to add that just here and again you can use red tape I prefer I do prefer a strong wet glue because I do notice that my albums don't fall apart uh, further down the road when I've used oh, I think I put that on wonky just going to fix this and then I shall finish my sentence Okay, yeah, I have had a few albums fall apart on me when I've used even like red tape. It doesn't last forever, it does lose its stick. So I do like to use a good strong glue. Okay, I'm just using my bone folder now because I did lift that off a few times just to press that down. And now you should have something that looks like that. Okay, so let's get this together. I'm going to keep my glue out actually. Right, so I have my binding here, and I have, I need to tell you how many you need to make. You need to make eight of these sets, okay? So as with 
traditional uh, mini album making you are going to need a lot of cardstock but that is just a mini album thing and that's the same with the patterned paper as well you go through a lot of pattern paper a lot of cardstock and um, a lot of glue a lot of double-sided tape if you're using that and um, yeah just be prepared for that but that is just a, a general mini album thing so what I'm doing now is I'm just exercising my spine pieces I'm pressing them down just like so moving them about this is what's going to help give the spine pieces like that memory that it's going to turn this way and it's going to turn that way so it's just going to make it so much easier okay so we're going to ignore all of these pieces in the middle we're going to be working on the side pieces and I'm going to go with my first one so we're going to be making the covers first now this year I'm going to be doing a lot of mini album making. We're going to be going into hardback covers, reinforcing your hardback covers, different types of hardback covers as well. So make sure you stay tuned. If you're not subscribed, you can subscribe down in the corner there. There's an icon there. If you click on that, it will subscribe you. So I'm going to be doing a lot of concentrating on the mini albums. Um, I, from the dies and also the ones that you can make just with the scoreboard so um, I put glue either side on the outside of this we're going to slip that on I'm going to keep everything as flat as we can and I'm going to go up to the first score line and I'm going to make sure that's straight as well so there's a lot to remember so if you are new to this do use the glue do use the glue I'm going to press that down if you really want to because I've, I've done this millions of times you can use just a ruler just like that just to make sure that it is on straight so we do have a pocket there we'll deal with that later okay so let's grow go for the next one now make sure your pockets when you're adding these are all the right way because we don't want some of your pockets down at the bottom so always in your mind keep an idea of the top where your top and where your bottom is for the album and the funny thing is with this craft cardstock is it has a color variation either side but I will be covering this so I'm not too fussed on there the reason why I've chosen craft card is because I have quite a bit of it so it's absolutely perfect for making these samples for these albums just going to turn it back the right way around now I'll just get my ruler just to show you how to do it that is all straight I can now press down and here we have our basic cover it should look like that now we'll be sorting out these pockets later on okay so now for all of these flaps now for the pages so I have six left so I'm going to be adding those in so I'm going to give you the the tips as I go along for the first uh, one or two and then I will speed up the rest okay add glue again both sides especially if you're new to this use glue if you use double-sided tape on this and you've not done this before there is a big risk that um, you may stick your page on wonky and you can't fix it once it's done with the double sided tape with the glue you will have a little bit of um, a grace period basically to get it to move it to get it right so I'm going to tilt this down that way I've got my pocket at the top this is the top of my album so I have the opening here and I'm just going to slide that on now all of those page orientations I just showed you will, is going to they're going to assemble just the same as this okay so what I'm doing now before I press that down is I'm making sure they're aligned top and bottom and that I've gone up to the score line but I'm not covering it up I can still see the score line. I just need to lift that so I can see it and if you do get anything overhanging on the top there if it goes up too high you can just trim that off if that bothers you so I'm happy with that so I'm just going to press that down so that is all aligned okay so do exactly the same where's my glue here it is do exactly the same on 
on both sides. There we go. Grab your page, double check where your top opening for the pocket is. And then slide that on. Do be quick though, especially if you are in a warm room. I'm not in a too warm a room because it's winter, but in the summer your glue may dry very quickly before you actually get to press it down and get it in the right place. So especially with these fast drying glues. Press that down. There we go, it's looking good. Everything is all lined up. Okay, so I'm just gonna go along the rest here. And then I'll be back to show you the finished result. Okay, so I've just added my last page which is actually the first page once you've opened it so just make sure that it is lined i am off just slightly but i can live with that if you can't live with that you've got the glue you can um you can adjust that um i live in the uk and i think is it goo gone or glue gone or something like that you can't get that over here which is a shame because i could really use that in a lot of my projects so if there's anything similar that I can get in the UK let me know if you have no idea what I'm talking about it doesn't matter I can't get hold of it anyway so here is my album I've got all of my pockets here at the top I'm just going to give you a measurement actually you do need to manually cut um, the pages uh, for the inserts so let's give you some measurements where on earth is my ruler? Here it is. Okay, so this measures a five and a half by nine. That is for the portrait. Now this is a slimmer edge here because, let me just show you. I like to give the reasons why and I'm trying to explain. It is shorter because we have the spine inside the page I'm covered in bits of dry glue you guys know I don't like that so uh, let's see this one's wet still so I'm gonna go for a one that's more dry as you can see my ruler will only go that far because we have the spine system inside that page pocket so that is why they are a little bit shorter okay so I gave you the measurement for that one let's go for the landscape again this is going to be a different measurement from the portrait because the, the spine piece is on the other side so we have eight inches by six and three eighths I added a little bit extra there just so that it was easier to get in out and I've also added these side paper clip like a bulldog clip tops here that is from this combo set here this is the journal and album accessories die set this is a duo you get the belly band there it comes as a two so um you've got the polaroid uh, i do have one cut out already there we go we've got the polaroid there that's orange it's getting quite bright in here isn't it okay and we have dates who where what when anyway i'm going to be going through all of these sets in the next video so this is going to be the first video to be released uh, for this collection and i will be going through all of the other extra die sets so it will be the the um the magic eye here the waterfall mechanism there and I also have a squash album as well. So make sure you are subscribed just down there in the corner if you don't want to miss the rest of the tutorials for this collection. So everything that I've used today will be listed down below. I'm hoping this video isn't too long. And um, if you've stayed this far right to the end, thank you very much. Give me a thumbs up, subscribe in the corner, and I'll see you again soon.